What's up guys, today we have to go collect a bunch of money from several of our claw machines and our coin pushers as well. And in case you guys didn't see it, in our last video we asked you, should we give a candy machine away in our next video? Of course a bunch of you guys said yes, so you guys got it. We're gonna give away a candy machine at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around until the end. But first, we need to go around and start collecting money from all of our claw machines and our coin pushers, so let's get going. Alright, so as you can see, we're here in our local mall and we have one of our kitty cranes, which is a candy castle theme. And we have little tiny two inch rubber toys in here like Paw Patrol, rubber ducks. We actually have some new stuff to put in here soon, we'll show you. First, let's go ahead and wipe down this machine because if you want to show real quick, Cody, we are in the food court and we have a lot of sticky fingers touching all over this machine each and every day. So we usually have to clean this machine every single day, guys, because it just gets so sticky one time cody had to clean out like some coke down there in the prize shoot that was yeah. crazy so yeah but we'll get her wiped down fill her up with some little toys and then we'll see how much this machine made in about two weeks okay look machine's all clean and as you can see we have these pokey balls courtesy of matt our good friend matt over at galaxy games 843 he has a bunch of these and several of his machines, including like a Pokeball capsule machine. It's super cool. So if you guys want to check out his channel, here's the link right on screen. Thank you, Matt, for these cool Pokeballs. We're going to put these inside of this claw machine and several of our other mini cranes today because the kiddos love Pokeballs. And these are the perfect size to fit in here with the rest of our little two inch, some even one and a half inch little rubber toys. Looking good. Now, let's see how much money this machine actually made. So, let's get our scale turned on here. We'll put this key in. As you guys can see, I have to put the key in right here to unlock it. Then I can open the front. Now we have access to the machine. First, we'll start with the quarters, per usual. Very nice. Damn. Quite a bit of quarters in there. Let's see how much that is. Right on. Over $135 for around two weeks. Very good. Now let's check the cash. Oh, even a nice stack of cash in here, guys. Looks like all ones, but hey, not too bad. 72, 73, 74 dollars in cash, guys, plus 135.75 makes 209 dollars. All right, let's get this in our pouch so we can move on to our other claw machine. Oh, Selling quarters. It's another day in the life. this up and we'll go ahead and go over to our other claw machine right over there. All right, and here now we have one of our super mini cranes and these are actually from candymachines.com. These are some of our favorite cranes. Not only are they super sleek, super easy to fit in pretty much any space, but they're also very affordable. So we love these cranes and we're actually getting a new one very soon with a prize locker on top. That's gonna be able to fit a Nintendo Switch, guys. You'll be able to win a key from inside and win a Switch. So that'll be super cool. We have that machine on the way. Should be here in about a week. So stay tuned for that. But we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Put some more of these Pokeballs in from our buddy Matt. Galaxy Games 843. And these will do real nice in here as well, I'm sure. And as far as where this is located at in our mall, this is actually right next to a karate studio, martial arts. Bunch of kids coming here in this uh, martial arts studio, so we have a lot of kids playing this machine in particular. Put another one in there. So we have a couple more cranes to fill. Don't want to use them all, but want it to look nice. There we go. Got some master balls in there, some pokey balls, some ultra balls. You guys know what's up. Now, let's see how much money this machine made, but I want to mention this coin mech actually just stopped working oh. last week, and as you can see, there's like a 
coin jammed in there. Is that a piece of cardboard or something? I don't know. I don't. People have been trying to put stuff in it, I'm sure. We need to put a little tape over out of order sign. We have another coin mech on the way. Should be here in about a week, so you won't see any change in this machine, but I'm sure it did make some dollars at the very least. So let's go ahead and check the cash for this machine. And there you go, guys. As you can see, not nearly as popular as the last machine, but this one's only been about one week since we last collected the money, not two, so still, for a week. Oh, wow, fiber in there, so that's actually not too bad. Let's go ahead and count this up and see how much this is. Ooh, two fibers. 26, 7, 28, 29, 3. $38 for the week. That's not too bad, guys. If you times 38 by 4, that's what? 3, 6, 9, 12. They're around 150 bucks a month for this machine. If the coin mech was working, it would have made even more, I'm sure. So, not too bad. Already piling up nicely just off our first two machines. Wow. There you go. Time to move on to some of our Mexican restaurants, a gas station. Let's get going. All right, guys. Here we are at one of our Mexican restaurants. Let's check our neon roll crane real quick. As you can see, a nice amount of toys have been won, guys. We had this pretty stacked, so we'll go ahead and open this up. Get some more of our toys in here. We've had a lot of success with these SpongeBob balls lately from aaglobal.com, so. Here's the inside of the claw machine, guys. Got a bunch of nice plush in there. Let's go ahead and add some more in. these little furry guys. Most of this plush and these SpongeBob balls are from AA Global. In fact, these balls are AA Global exclusive, so they're really neat. You can't find them anywhere else. So if you guys are looking for some unique prizes for your claw machines, AA Global might be a good bet, including little SpongeBob characters, stuff like that. So certain claw machine operators guys like to jam their toys in there, make them real hard to win. We don't like to do that. We like to have winners from our machines. And in our experience, it makes people come back and play the machines more. And you know, let's be honest, it's primarily kids playing these machines. So there's no point to make them all impossible to win, super hard. We even got a little Super Mario character, one of the ghosts. Very cool. Got a flash. Oh, he even has a dollar on him. I forgot I put a dollar bill on a couple of these. That'll be cool. And there we go, guys. I think that'll be good for that claw machine. Good stuff. Before we collect the money, we'll go ahead and get our scale out real quick. So we can weigh the quarters right, right away for you guys. All right, scale is all started up. Got the keys here. Go ahead and get inside this machine and see how much you made in the past month. We will start with the change. Oh yeah, not too bad. Right on, $53 and change alone, very nice. Let's go ahead and slide this on back in. And check the cash, guys. You ready? Want some guesses in the comments below? How much you think it is? You ready? Oh, very nice, guys. That is pretty full of cash. If I can grab that out of there, there you go. Throw you a nice little spiral. Wow. Very nice, guys. We'll go ahead and add that up and let you know how much this is total. All right, guys, so we have 123 cash right here. 44 and change, that's $166 for the month. That's great for October, we love it. So we're gonna grab the rest of our toys, get this money loaded up, and head on over to our gas station location. So here we are at our gas station location, so we're gonna grab these again, and put these in the mini crane inside. But I wanna show you guys real quick, check over here once again, we don't have the proper pouches and stuff, but look how much money we have so far, guys, from our first machines. We have all this quarters and, wow, a lot of quarters in there, bunch of cash. Just wanna give you guys an idea of how much we got so far, so. Looking really good. We'll go ahead and grab our stuff, get on in there, and see how much our coin pusher and our claw machine made inside this gas station. Oh, 
looking gift guys as you can see this claw machine is pretty low on capsules and stuff as well the coin pusher we had like 20 dollar bills and stuff on here guys so quite a few things have been won we need to set up our scale over here real quick we usually set up right here on the ground so as you can see we got this whole little kind of area this little whatever you want to call it alleyway whatever here to our disposal so we usually just set up the coin scale right here if you've seen our past videos get that set up and we'll check out the machine all right so actually first we're going to check this dollar bill acceptor because in our arcade video you guys asked how the dollar bill acceptor works so we promised in our next video when we had a dollar bill acceptor involved we would show you how it works so it converts dollar bills into quarters as you can see there's a tenner in there right on the top so that converted it into quarters as well all the money in here guys was just converted into quarters to put inside this machine to give you an idea so we'll count this up real quick let you know how much this is and then we'll collect the money from this machine all right so we counted it all up and we have 172 dollars here so whatever we collect from the coin pusher and quarters we will replace in the changer we'll probably go ahead and put 200 dollars in just to be safe we'll go ahead and set this cash to the side grab our keys and get inside this coin pusher and see how much it made in the past two weeks so Hurry it up, will ya? i think this is the key right here there we go guys ready See how much this pusher made in two weeks. Oh. Very nice. Oh, wow. And as you can see, some of the dollar bills and such from the play field fell inside the holes right there on the side and made it down to the bottom, unfortunately. So we'll get those prizes back on the field. Once we get the rest of these quarters out, got some spilled change in here. There we go, guys. Got it all in there go ahead and see how much it is in the scale I'm sure you guys can see that this is pretty heavy what are we looking at three hundred and seventy dollars and fifty cents very nice guys for two weeks that is incredible go ahead and open this up get those prizes back in there all right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a 10, a 20, and a couple fives, put these on the field because, you know, who wants to play a coin pusher unless you're actually gonna win some money, so. Come over here. And again, guys, we had a 10, two 20s on here. They're all gone, so not all of that money down there is profit, but that's okay because still quite a bit of profit. Shove a 20 in there real nice. We wanna try to do it claw kicker style. I'm gonna show an image on screen how Aaron does it, claw kicker, it's absolutely crazy. I've never been able to replicate a pusher like our boy Aaron does, so shout out to you, my guy. But we're going to do the best we can with what we've got here. Slide them all in. We want to put some closer to the edge to make them more winnable. Because, again, we come here every week or two, guys, so we're not here every week like we are at our arcade. So we don't get to check this machine all the time. There we go. It's looking much better. Got a 20 in there, a 10, a couple fibers. Good stuff. Lock this machine on up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check out this super mini crane, just like our other super mini crane, which is from CandyMachines.com. And we're gonna go ahead and load in some little Pokemon capsules, once again from Galaxy Games 843. And there we go, a top layer of Pokeballs, cause you know, gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Anyway, lock that up and we'll go ahead and see how much money this machine made. Make sure the scale's already. Zero it out. There we go. Okay, doke. See how much this claw machine made. First, we'll check the quarters. Oops, requires a key. If I can get this out. Sorry about that guy. Wow, okay. Oh, no quarters in there, guys. So I wonder. Yeah. Shows how much I've been here lately. We're going to try to open. The, oh. There's the quarters. <laughs> and the plate. $39.50. Wow. That's really good for two weeks. 
Go ahead and pop that in. Oh, so this plate, okay, so this plate covers right here. If you guys can see, the plate has a hole in it that could lead to the bottom if you wanted to hold more quarters in the bottom, or you can just insert this plate back in here and it'll just collect them all in here. That's actually pretty nifty. There we go, got that in there. Lock that up, and now for the dollar bills. Let's see how much it made. Okay, a few bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus 39.50 is 48.50 in two weeks. Very nice, guys. We'll go ahead and get this DBA back on. Lock her up, and we are gonna split up their commission. Here's how much this location made total. Absolutely crazy. Here's how much their commission is. We do pay 50% commission here, guys, of net sales. And I know that might sound high, but you gotta understand how competitive it is around here in Missouri where there's coin pushers and claw machines literally everywhere. So if you're paying, you know, somebody 50%, they're not gonna take somebody else in when they're already getting half of the money. In some places we can get away with 30%, but not all of them. So this location in particular, is 50% of the profits. So let's go ahead and get all this money in the bag, their half for them, and move on to our next Mexican restaurant. Let's get going. You know I'm lying, guys. We gotta go ahead and fill that changer and I gotta show you guys. I almost completely forgot. And there you go, we got $200 right there. We're gonna go ahead and pick that up, put it back in the changer. So it's got plenty of quarters to dispense back to all the players who wanna play the coin pusher. Notice we have the dollar bill acceptor off because if we have this on, it's gonna be in the way when I'm loading in coins. So we don't want this on while I'm loading in coins. Just a free little 99 knowledge for you right there. She is nice and filled up, as you can hear. So, slide this back on, turn the power button back on, twist it up. Lock it up. Now, let's wait for this light to come on. There we go, she's working. Now, let's get them their commission of the rest of this money and move on to our Mexican restaurant. All right guys, we are at our final location on Mexican restaurant yet again. Let's go ahead and get inside and see how it did. Excellent guys. Look how low those toys are. Wow, there was a lot more toys in there last time. Been about a month, right? About a month. About, about a month. month. So. Not exactly, but. A little hot in here, too. A little hot in here, not gonna lie. A little bit. A little bit. All right, guys, let's get to our circular keys. I think these keys are really unique in the way that they're, I mean, you can't really copy them, I don't think. I've seen people worry about that online that. They're gonna, you're gonna see their keys and and copy them. So, hope not. I really hope not. Take a look. Even some SpongeBob's in there. The plush SpongeBob's. All right guys, I wanna know in the comment section below, uh, who's a better toy loader? See, uh, check out the way, okay? We're just gonna go in here. We're just gonna knuckle in. Make it look nice, spread it around, show SpongeBob's on it. Yeah, nice and presentable. Don't show that it's just a blue ball or just a yellow ball, but it's a SpongeBob ball. Fix some names. See. And again, we've had a lot of success with these SpongeBob balls, guys, which are 30 cents a pop, and this is a 50 cent frame. So even if they win a ball every single time, we win. That's right. Balls are. Uh, Bouncy balls, rubber balls are great margins, guys. Great margins. All right, lock that up. Put this back on the key ring here. I'll try to get this scale right for you quick before you get those keys. Oh, try to get this one handed, my friends. Stop shaking! Why are you shaking? There we go. Scale ready. All right, I got it unlocked. I haven't opened it up yet. We don't know what's inside. Let's find out. Move this out of the way temporarily. We will start with the quarters per usual. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Holy Whoa. crap. Dang. Wow. Half the quarters. It's heavy. Oh my God. All right. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
nearly $250. $247.75. That's insane. Wait, it's October. It's October. That's insane. All right. How much do we think is inside? Guess gonna comment below, guys. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's heavy. Is it oh, really? it's heavy. Oh my god, watch, watch. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys. I can hardly grab it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Guys, let's get up here by the SpongeBob balls. What? Oh my. Fiber in there. Oh my gosh. All right, so it's gonna take us a minute to count that up. Let's go ahead and count out this cash what? and see how much it is. Wow. Dang. Let's dump all of this money all together and see what it looks like. Got all this cash. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just <feel funny. laughs> Got all this cash. Got all of these quarters. There we go. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. The only thing you need to do to enter this giveaway is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below telling us why you want a candy machine. And that's it. All right, guys, till the next time, we'll see you next time. All right, goodbye. <laughs>